Sandra's heart raced when she witnessed the door slowly open on its own. Although a wave of fear washed over her, she resolutely chose to explore the enigmatic event. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. Outside, she observed a glass of water inexplicably gliding across the mantelpiece, followed by the abrupt blaring of a smoke detector before it crashed to the ground, without a moment's delay. Sandra swiftly exited the area. Upon closer examination, one would notice the face in the nearby photograph next to Sandra darkening and fading into shadow as the door began to shift. While Sandra had encountered numerous unexplainable phenomena in this residence, this marked the first occasion she had tangible proof of such experiences. She sought to comprehend the unfolding events, and one thing was clear. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. This house was undeniably unsettling her. As she pondered the bizarre incidents, Sandra could not dismiss the impression that the house was attempting to convey a message to her. She embarked on a quest to investigate the history of the property, hoping to find some insights. Her research revealed that the house had been constructed atop an ancient cemetery, and numerous individuals had reported peculiar experiences since its establishment. Sandra was resolute in her pursuit of the truth behind the mystery, yet the more she uncovered, the more she understood that some truths might be best left unexamined. One evening, Sandra resolved to set up cameras and recording devices to document further evidence of the supernatural occurrences. Upon reviewing the footage, she was astounded to witness a spectral figure passing through the door, accompanied by a series of inexplicable sounds and movements. Convinced that the house was indeed haunted, Sandra was determined to unveil the reality behind the strange happenings. However, as she delved deeper into the enigma, she began to recognize that some secrets might be wiser to keep hidden. The janitor's inquiry into the school revealed a series of increasingly strange phenomena. Doors would slam shut without any apparent cause, and he felt as though whispers trailed him wherever he went. On one occasion, he even caught sight of a spectral figure in a classroom, sending a wave of fear through him. Despite his trepidation, he was resolute in his quest to uncover the truth behind these unsettling events. He delved into the school's history, and reached out to others who had experienced similar occurrences. All right. Um, 
just so I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on the cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but. One fateful evening, the janitor ventured into the basement, reputed to be the most haunted area of the school. As he descended the old, creaking stairs, a heavy sense of foreboding washed over him. Suddenly, a loud crash reverberated through the basement, and a door slammed shut right before him. He attempted to pry it open, but it remained firmly shut. Trapped, he then beheld it, a ghostly figure with glowing malevolent eyes. Yeah, I didn't really believe him until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um, Overcome with fear, he found himself unable to move or utter a sound. He was entirely at the mercy of the apparition, and he was acutely aware of it. The ghost advanced toward him, its gaze locked onto the janitor with an unfathomable malevolence. His heart raced, and his mind was consumed by dread. He tried to scream, but his voice was caught in his throat. The ghost extended a spectral hand and brushed it against the janitor's face plunging him into darkness. When the janitor regained consciousness, he found himself on the floor, his head pounding with pain. Just... Ooh, okay. No, no, no. It just, it just follows me no matter what. The ghost had vanished, but he understood that he needed to escape the basement as quickly as possible. He stumbled up the stairs and fled the school, not stopping until he reached the safety of his home. From that moment on, the janitor steered clear of the basement, haunted by the fear of what he might encounter should he return. The ghost hunter embarked on an exploration of an abandoned school in China, intrigued by its infamous reputation for paranormal occurrences. He documented his journey through a live stream, capturing each sound and movement as he delved further into the empty corridors. Initially, the only audible noises were the echoes of the decaying structure, but soon, he began to discern inexplicable whispers and footsteps. Although he attempted to dismiss them as mere products of the wind or his own mind, the sounds intensified in volume and frequency. Upon turning a corner, he encountered a plastic statue head resting on a nearby shelf, its gaze seemingly penetrating through him. A shiver ran down his spine, yet he endeavored to maintain his composure and press on with the investigation. It was then that he witnessed a small ball rolling across the floor unaided, seemingly propelled by an unseen presence. Despite his efforts to rationalize the situation as natural phenomena or the presence of a stray animal,
The oppressive ambience within the school continued to escalate. In a sudden turn of events, the ceiling lights crashed down, enveloping the hallway in darkness. The ghost hunter stood frozen, his pulse quickening, as he caught sight of a shadowy visage peering back at him from a mirror on the wall. Realization dawned upon him that he was not the sole inhabitant of the school. The spirits of past students and educators lingered, observing his every move. Hastily concluding his live stream, he departed from the premises, vowing to analyze the gathered evidence and share further insights with his audience. <laughs> Despite his trepidation, he remained resolute in his quest to unveil the mysteries of the haunted school and disseminate them to the public. The skeptic conducted an experiment to determine if ghost hunters find evidence due to coincidence or their own expectations. He split his friends into two groups and brought them on a ghost hunt. One group explored a highly haunted manor with a history of paranormal activity while the other group visited a random erm with no reported ghostly encounters. The twist was that the second group was given a fake ghost story about the erm being extremely haunted, complete with fabricated tales of strange occurrences and unexplained events. The group at the manor, equipped with ghost hunting gadgets, began their investigation. Now it's calibrated. Everything that happens from this point is something going in front of it. If you're here, can you... Can you make the music box start? Okay, that's good. Um, ring the music box if it's if it's okay if we can sit down. Thank you. What's going on? Let's go. That is phenomenal. Honestly, this seemed so unexplainable, but not as unexplainable as the not haunted house. Is anybody here with us? All right, literally nothing was happening there. Uh, this, this is weird. If you are here, would you mind turning on one of the flashlights? Or the motion sensor, whichever you prefer. Searching for signs of paranormal activity. As they navigated the eerie hallways and dimly lit rooms, they noticed peculiar responses from a music box in one of the rooms. 
Initially, it played a faint melody, but soon it started playing louder and more frequently, even though no one was nearby. You prefer the motion sensor? Oh, oh both, I guess. Light, that's crazy. Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Unless there's something in front of you. Wow. And even after repositioning, it still went off. Well, thank you very much for having us. We're gonna we're gonna go upstairs to this beautiful home. Please stay stay here. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Uh, but we're gonna pack up our things and and go. Thank you for this experience. I wonder if the equipment is also going on and off at the other house, or if it's just going off here. Because if it's just going off here, that is pretty sus. Real, right? Like that's crazy. I mean, that box hasn't worked at all ever, 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 ever. No. And so we get we here. calibrated it three times in there and it worked every time. There's some presence moving in front of that machine. Intrigued. The group delved deeper into their investigation, questioning whether they had stumbled upon genuine paranormal activity. What? Uh, wait, that could that could have that could have been something, right? That could have been the air, the wind. Calibrated. Oh, ah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Bingo, baby. Simultaneously, the second group at the Ermd also encountered strange happenings. Despite the absence of any ghostly history, they felt eerie sensations, heard odd noises, and caught glimpses of things in their peripheral vision. Convinced that the Ermd was haunted, their experiences reinforced their belief. The skeptic then disclosed the truth to both groups, that the Ermd group had been fed a fake ghost story and the strange occurrences they encountered were purely psychological. On the other hand, the group at the manor had genuinely experienced unexplained phenomena, leaving them pondering whether they had truly come across paranormal activity. The experiment sparked more questions than answers, prompting the skeptic to contemplate the essence of ghost hunting and the influence of human perception. In 2022, a terrifying account is disclosed accompanied by eerie footage of supernatural incidents. Currently dwelling in a residence plagued by paranormal activity, the individual suspects a malevolent force is responsible for it all. Two years later, they move to a different house in a new city. Now in the last two years since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house in a new city but he believes that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home, and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here, so. Hoping to evade the entity's clutches. Nevertheless, it becomes evident that the entity is unwilling to release them. Upon entering their new home, they hear disturbing sounds coming from inside, intent on gathering proof. That's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out, you know, <laughs> Max, shut up. Hang up right here. That's wall. They install cameras to capture the peculiar happenings. Despite their efforts to shake off the sensation of being observed, they remain on edge. In a bid to document evidence of the supernatural occurrences, they leave multiple cameras recording while they are away. Upon reviewing the footage, they are stunned by what they see. Doors opening by themselves, objects moving inexplicably, and eerie shadows lurking in the shadows. It becomes clear that the malevolent entity has trailed them to their new dwelling. <laughs> Seeking help, they reach out to various religious organizations, Yet their appeals go unanswered. This tale serves as a chilling reminder that the horrors of the night can endure regardless of your location. These five eerie stories provide a glimpse into the supernatural world, raising more questions than answers. 
They stir up feelings of discomfort and doubt, prompting us to ponder what exists beyond our known reality. One fact remains indisputable. These horrifying narratives will have you keeping the lights on while you sleep, wondering if the shadows will approach you next. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated. Leave a comment and share with friends. Your support means everything.